Typhoon Noir has re-intensified into a category 5 super typhoon and it's a really strong one and you can see on the eye really amazing and structure absolutely beautiful probably a stadium effect on its eye leaving Guam and Saipan Islands which affected directly on yesterday Right now, my water's position 14.2 degrees north, 143.1 degrees east. And it's a category 5 super typhoon with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour and 921 millibars of pressure and moving to the west at 7 miles per hour. That's latest at 16 hours Guam, which is also 16 hours on Mariana Islands, 6 hours UTC on May the 25th. And about its wind field, tropical storm force winds expanding over 185 nautical miles to the, uh, to the northeastern quadrant, 220 nautical miles to the south, uh, southeastern quadrant, 150 nautical miles to the southwestern quadrant, and 95 nautical miles to the northwestern quadrant. I repeat, this is tropical storm, tropical storm force winds expanding from its center. And the distances from different locations and well, it's 300 kilometers to the southwest of Saipan in the Mariana Islands, 230 kilometers to the west of Rota as well in Mariana Islands and 200 kilometers to the west northwest of Guam. Still, there's a typhoon warning, cyclone warning in effect for Guam and Rota Islands since there are still some effects um, uh, well, there are still some typhoon conditions or tropical storm conditions over those islands yet. And about the different uh, agencies' estimates, the Japan Meteorological Agency, they believe it's a 140 miles per hour uh, category 4 typhoon. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center, they believe it's a, a slightly stronger, 165 miles per hour, while here in Force 13, we believe it's a 160 miles per hour category 5 super typhoon. And about the projection of this typhoon, it's expected to move uh, west northwestwards, uh, practically over the next three to four days, intensifying rather gradually until reaching uh, its maximum peak strength, possibly at May the 26th, on uh, uh, 12 Zulu. That's approximately on the next day. Uh, but it could be actual, actually a little stronger than, is pre, uh, than it is predicted, so let's see what happens. And then, uh, starting a weakening trend after the May the 27th, uh, while, it, uh, while it approaches uh, Philippines and Taiwan. But it, but it looks like that is going to be, the, uh, to be Taiwan, the, the location who's gonna really um, take a closer look to this, uh, to this storm in the future. The sea surface uh, temperatures 29 30 degrees celsius currently right now absolutely warm for uh, for this storm to intensify and of course to maintain a, a super typhoon of these characteristics and intensity so there's no limitations for uh, for mawar to intensify uh, further in the next days there's the wind field and as you can see in the next days practically at the end of the month of may Possibly some tropical storm force winds reaching uh, Taiwan, the east, the northeastern coast of Taiwan, barely reaching them. But let's see what happens. To, since it's still a long-range forecast and everything could change, but it's something that we should take uh, a closer eye to that. And the rainfall accumulations as well, they are going to be really uh, important, at least. Uh, for uh, for Guam and Saipan still possibly additional two to four inches of rain they are going to they are still going to to occur or to fall or to <laughs> to happen on those locations and then everything else is going to be uh, on the open waters and Guam may see possibly some rain as well depending on how close it gets to sorry to Taiwan how close it gets to that island at the end of the month of May. Different model comparison you can see practically everyone it's uh, they believe it's a uh, category 4 category 5 typhoon I mean this is kind of uh, outdated unfortunately but practically every everyone expected to intensify into a category 5 and as you can see it's going to intensify further on the next day and then starting a weakening trend slowly but still and uh, 
maybe it could be some good news before it reaches more populated areas in the next days. And the uh, wind shear levels are going to decrease uh, importantly on the next hours, so that's why my war is going to intensify rather uh, quickly and a little bit more. So let's see what happens, but it's expected to really become a significant category 5 super typhoon, possibly an 180 miles per hour could reach that intensity depending on how good the conditions in the atmosphere gets. And then the wind shear it's going to increase uh, slightly, so that's why the typhoon is expected to in, uh, to start a slight weakening trend on the next days. The sea surface temperatures 29, 30 degrees Celsius, absolutely warm for the uh, for this typhoon, and the humidity levels approximately 70 percent. So there's no uh, dry air intrusions and. Uh, and over the next days as well, so this is not going to happen for Mawar on the next days. And you can see on the satellite animations, uh, practically the presentation of Mawar and visible imagery, and as well as uh, and the cloud tops, really amazing cloud tops between minus 80 to minus 90 degrees Celsius, really cold and high cloud tops. So that's why also this typhoon is absolutely intense. You can see them on 413's website so please check them out and enjoy all the new tools we have there on the 413's website so you can please uh, take a look and as well keep updated with more updates and videos that we are going to uh, to to upload on this platform that's all for now